Okay, here we go. Focus. Speed. I am speed. One winner. 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Breakfast? Maybe I should have had breakfast. A little brekkie could be good for me. No, 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 stay focused. Speed. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be going over how to do the fastest flip in Rocket League, and I'm gonna be touching on some common mistakes I see people making that you might even make yourself. Now, I wanted to talk about speed flipping because I was in some threes games last week with some pretty high-ranked GC players, and I was noticing how much trouble I had keeping up with their kickoffs. It felt like every time a goal was scored, they would guarantee start with an advantage because they were just so good at winning kickoffs. So for the past week, I've been practicing the speed flip, and after a lot of trial and error, not only do I think I have it down, but I think I know exactly how to teach this mechanic. Oh, and one last thing I want to mention before I get started, make sure that you stay tuned until the end of the video, because if you're new to the channel, I'm doing a really cool giveaway that I'll be talking more about at the end of the video, and I think you might be interested in it. But without any further wait, let's hop over to free play and talk about how to execute the fastest flip in Rocket League. Okay, so just like with all mechanics heavy videos, I will have my controller overlaid in the top right so you can follow along with my inputs. Now to start, to execute a speed flip, you're going to have to be familiar with how to execute a standard flip cancel. So if you don't know how to do that already, then I highly recommend you check out my video on flip canceling and only come back to this video after that. But for those of you who are already familiar with flip canceling, a speed flip in short is just a really precise diagonal front flip cancel. The thing about speed flipping though, unlike a half flip where you also are flip canceling, the flip cancel motion you use in a speed flip has to be almost instantaneous. And that's what separates the speed flip from a half flip, because whereas in a half flip you want to hold down your joystick in the canceling direction, with a speed flip you only want to cancel your flip for a very brief second. The second thing you need to know in order to do a speed flip is that to get the fastest flip, you need to flip cancel in the complete opposite direction you initially dodge. So in other words, you need to move your joystick 180 degrees from the position you initiate your flip. The third and last thing you need to know to execute a proper speed flip has to do with air rolling. Since the flip cancel won't completely return your car to its initial position, you want to air roll in the direction you dodge to complete the speed flip. So if you're flipping left, you need to air roll left at the end to correct your car path, and same thing if you're flipping right, just air roll right. Now I recommend practicing this motion on your own for a while, without boost, without doing anything else, just so that you can get the muscle memory completely locked in, because it's definitely going to take a little bit of time for this motion to feel natural. Once you are comfortable with executing this motion though, the way you're really going to make this flip fast is by incorporating boost and power sliding. For those of you who don't know, drifting or power sliding is not only good for changing directions, it's actually also really good for recoveries and maintaining your momentum. So when you're speed flipping, even though it might not look like it, you're actually still flipping diagonally. So to minimize the amount of speed loss on your landing, you're going to want to hold down your drift button as you land. Now this might take a while to get used to, especially on kickoffs, which is why it's really important to take this step by step and make sure you first get that speed flip cancel part down, and then only after that should you start incorporating drifting. Once you have those two things down though, the last thing I want to touch on is why the speed flip is actually so fast, and that is in part due to boosting. You see, when you speed flip, unlike a normal forward dodge or diagonal front flip, if you do it right, the nose of your car should always be pointing forward. That means you can hold down boost the entire duration of the flip to constantly be accelerating forward. This is what really gives the speed flip an edge on kickoffs, because you're going to be arriving at the ball so much quicker than your opponent if you can get that extra half second of being able to boost. Now if you put all this together properly, you should be able to execute a perfect speed flip. 
The number one piece of advice I can give, if any of this is still not clicking for you, is just going to be to practice, because this is a very mechanics heavy movement, and you need to just get that muscle memory down in order for it to start clicking. But if after practicing, you still can't seem to get the speed flip down, then this is the part of the video where we can try to correct that. So now, I'm going to go over some common mistakes when speed flipping that I even made when I was learning the mechanic myself. If you think you've got it down though, feel free to skip ahead to the next part of the video where I go over how to use the speed flip at each kickoff position. Starting with the mistakes, mistake number one is not flip canceling in the complete opposite direction you initiate your flip. For example, if you're trying to speed flip to the right and you flip cancel by pulling your joystick down into the right instead of down into the left, you risk your car hitting the ground halfway through the flip and that bumping will slow you down. So if this seems like your issue, make sure to flip cancel in the complete opposite direction after you initiate that first dodge. Mistake number two is holding down the flip cancel too long. If you flip cancel for too long, your speed flip might start to look like a forwards half flip, and you risk actually turning your car completely around if you hold that cancel down too long, which is obviously not what we're going for here. So think of that cancel as just being a flick of your joystick, and that problem should go away pretty quickly. The final mistake, mistake number three, is not actually diagonally dodging in the first place. When you speed flip, you want to be as close to front flipping as you can be, without actually just flipping directly forward. And the reason I say that is because if you pull even just a little bit too far to the left or to the right during that first dodge, you might actually just do a barrel roll instead of speed flipping. So if you're noticing your car moving too much to the left or to the right, make sure you aren't just barrel rolling and are actually dodging diagonally forward and then flip canceling afterwards. Okay. That is all for common mistakes I see. The last thing I want to go over though is how to execute the speed flip from different spawning positions. Alright, so starting from either corner spawn, what I like to do is to turn my car slightly further upfield and then speed flip towards the ball. If you do this right, you should end up right behind the ball with the nose of your car facing toward the opponent's goal. From here, you can side roll or dodge whichever way to correct yourself if you're slightly off center when you land. Now for the slightly off-center spawns, I do something a little different, and I start by actually turning towards the center of the field, slightly away from the ball. This allows me to drive forward a small amount, and then right after I grab that first boost pad, I speed flip to the ball and 50-50 from there. The last spawn is the straight center spawn, and honestly with this one, you can do many different things. If you want to just go as fast as you can, then turn your car just a little bit, drive forward, and speed flip right next to this boost pad. But in all honesty, you can win this kickoff any number of ways, so whatever you like best on this spawn, you can do here. Alright guys, that is going to wrap things up on all the different spawning positions, and really that is all you need to know on how to speed flip. While this wasn't necessarily a complete kickoff tutorial, hopefully this helped you all improve your kickoff game, and if it did, please let me know if a complete kickoff tutorial sounds interesting. Before this video ends though, I wanted to talk a little bit about that giveaway I mentioned earlier. So for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be going through my Rocket League videos and selecting a random commenter at the end of every month for the next year. If you get picked, I'll coach you an unlimited amount of times until you reach Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. That's right, I'm going to take on 12 different people and I'm going to continuously coach them on my Discord until they all hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, just leave a comment below with your Rocket League rank and you'll be entered for every unique video you comment on. Anyways though guys, that is about all for this one, so if you did find this video helpful, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. These videos take me so many hours to make, so I'd really appreciate it if you could all do that. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.